Hello and welcome back to my channel. You may not know this, but I am a video producer. So that means I organize video shoots. I work with filming teams to create videos for mainly corporate clients. And that's what I've been doing today. So this is why I am sitting here in the middle of a park. We've just finished the shoot and it's made me think that there are some tips that I can give you if you have been asked to take part in a video. As always, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you like it, it lets me know the kind of content you want me to create. And if there is something in particular that you want me to cover, just let me know in the comments below. So here are five tips for you if you've been asked to take part in a corporate video. The first tip is know your message. Understand what the point of the video is. Understand the messages that you need to deliver. When it comes to video, and if you've been asked to take part in the video, chances are you know a lot about the subject already, but there will only be certain key points that you need to cover. So understand what they are, understand the point of the video, understand what you want the audience to think, feel and do as a result of seeing you on film. My second tip is this, and it's frustrating because it happens all the time. Do not turn up to the video shoot with a script of answers that you have written. Now, I say a script of answers because typically when it comes to corporate video shoots, what you will have is an interview style video. So somebody like me asking you questions. If you get those questions in advance, resist every temptation you have to script answers. Never ever in the thousands of videos that I've created has that ever gone well when somebody has pre-prepared exactly what they wanted to say. Now there's a time for scripts and that time is when you're using an auto cue and you can read the script. But in an interview, it never works. It comes across as really fake. It's really stilted. You will 100% have used language in a script that you would never normally use. There's nothing authentic about it. But um, importantly, if you have a script that you've prepared, then you will get all sorts of nervous, when you can't relay it word for word. It then gets really difficult. You get more and more nervous, more and more fearful of the camera. It's awful. It really, really helps nobody. So do not prepare a script. The other thing about a script that you've prepared and learned in advance is if somebody throws in a different question, which often happens in an interview, it will completely throw you you will not know what to say. Tip number three that relates to tip number two is know what you want to say. So if you do have the questions in advance, perhaps ask somebody to ask them to you and rehearse saying the answers out loud. You should know your messaging if you refer to tip number one. So you should know the kind of answer that you want to give. There's nothing wrong with practicing that, just don't script it. <laughs> tip number four, really, really important, know your audience. And I mean that in two ways. I mean, know who your audience are roughly that will generally be watching the video. So what part of the business they're from? Is it the whole workforce? Is it just some of them? But the second thing that is really important when it comes to audiences, if you're making a corporate video is, is it an internal audience or will this video be going out externally? because that will really affect the answers that you give. So what you're really asking people or the person who is creating the video, the person who's asked you to be involved is, is it just the company who are going to be seeing this or could it be the general public? Because that will affect what you say on camera. And my fifth tip, which is really important when it comes to corporate video is 
you have been asked to take part in this video. So when we organize a video, we're typically organizing it with a communications team. They will then find suitable people to be involved in the video. And if you've been asked, that means they already think you're great. So you can take that and wear that badge with pride and a bit of confidence, knowing that people already think you are good, okay? So don't doubt yourself. It's fine to feel nervous, that is completely normal, but don't doubt your knowledge and your ability to convey the messages that we need. So those are my five tips when it comes to making a corporate video. As always, please do subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, here's a link to some more. Please do subscribe because I'll be uploading videos weekly.